Well, we're at Richardson's Lake today, run by Godalming Angling Society. Fishing for my favourite species, or one of my favourite species, tench. And we're going back in time a little bit because we're using simple pole float on the running line and a bit of paste as bait. When you come down there and you're fishing pace, don't be in too much rush or don't be worried if you don't get a bite for an hour, sometimes two hours. It does take time to actually get the fish feeding. Just keep putting in four or five bits of pellet or pellet paste around the float and just trust that they will turn up. I came down this morning, it took me about 20 minutes actually to get a bite. I thought, here we go, this is going to be a good day, but I've had five or six tench now, a couple of bream. Everything looked really good for a mega session and then it just went dead. So I've just slowed up on the feed because obviously there's some down there. And every time I get a bite now, I just put two or three bits of pellet in and I've started to get a few more bites now. The problem is I'm missing them. So uh, just need to get a few more bites and convert a few. of a spawned up bream there, took a liking for the paste. As I struck and hooked that, it came about two foot out of the water. It was a flying bream for a few minutes, so uh, let's put her back and hopefully we'll get a few more tench. Well, the bait I'm using doesn't get much simpler, although you do have to prepare it, and it's just paste. I make mine just using some micro pellet, pour those in a bait box in the evening before you go fishing, boil the kettle, pour the boiling water in just so they're shiny, they'll then absorb that water and you'll be able to knead it into a nice little paste and I just add a little bit of tiger nut syrup, lovely smell, bit oily into a nice fine, fine paste and don't be stingy with your bait when you're tench fishing, quite a big lump on a size 14 is the way forward. If you go too small, it just falls off, gets nibbled away by little skimmers. So a nice big lump on a 14. And the way I feed when I get here, I got there this morning, I'm just holding the bait and by the reel, placing it out, two rod lengths, sinking the line. And then I'm just put 12 sort of hook bait size samples around the float. Leave that until I get a bite. It might take 20 minutes, it might take an hour. Um, but if I get a little bite and I miss it, I just work on three or four or five bits of paste again, just one at a time, just drip feed it around the float, get another bite, miss it, another five, and then obviously you can just gauge it as you go. If you start getting fish and then they go off, you do sometimes think, do I put more feed in? But today I actually eased off my feed because I just didn't think on this easterly wind they were really having it. And sometimes that works. The more bait you've got in there and the fish aren't really eating it, you're gonna struggle for bites. So uh, sometimes you've got to ease off that. You just have to gauge it as you go. I finally hooked one, it's become a bit of a frustrating morning because the crusions have now come in and as you can imagine the float is up and down all over the place and I'm just striking and missing bites. Now and again when I do hook a tench I'm foul hooking all the hooks coming out because they're not really really having it today. There's a very cold easterly wind, I'm actually shivering, I haven't been warm all morning. but. Um, this is the reason why it's difficult at the moment because I've got these little beauties turn up which uh, as we all know catching them on the float you've got to have your setup perfect and mine's a little bit crude today because I'm fishing for tench but um, 
our take, you can see how lightly hooked that is. It's just in the top lip, so uh, we're still getting a few, getting plenty of bites, but I'm missing so many now. Well, the tackle I'm using is fairly straightforward. I've got a 13 foot match rod. The reel was a little match reel loaded with six pound main line. And then the float, I've got a 0.75 gram pole float. As you can see, the tip's not really that fine. I want quite a thick tip because I'm paste fishing. And I've shotted that just using an inline Olivetti, which is about a 0.7 gram, and then two tiny little stots droppers down to a barbless size 14 hook. Just fishing that slightly over depth, about three inches over depth. Normally when you get a bite, you just get a little dip or a little lift. And then the, if it's a tench, the float just sails away. If it's a cruisian, it dips and is all over the place. So uh, fairly straightforward rig. You don't have to scale it down here. Six pound line, five pound 14 hook link. They fight really hard here, so you've got to make sure your rod, you know, you've got a good quality rod and your tackle's fairly robust. Well, I think we'll call it a day on this one. I'm sort of getting bite after bite, but they're not over positive and I'm striking, getting the odd cruisian um, and the odd, te the odd tench coming along. This one didn't fight, as you can see. It's gonna fight on the bank. Not the biggest one of the morning. We've had them up to probably about, maybe getting on for four pound on the float. I've had six or seven, a couple of bream, a couple of cruisians. So it was meant to be a tench session, but we'll call it a mixed bag on the float session today. So I'll slide this one back and still got time to go home and have some breakfast.